أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد First of all, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and all those who follow him until the day of judgment. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Inshallah, our topic today is Zakatul Fitr, or as some of us may know it as Sadaqatul Fitr, or the fast breaking zakah. So zakat al-fitr, it's an obligatory charity to be paid by the end of the month of Ramadan. So the term is a causation one, as fitr, breaking the fast, is the cause for zakat to be given. So zakat al-fitr is obligatory according to the Quran according to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the consensus of Muslim scholars. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he has certainly succeeded who purifies himself. Qad aflaha man That he has certainly succeeded one who purifies himself. Uh, this is in Quran Surah Al-A'la, verse number 14. So some of the scholars of, this, of the Salaf, the early Muslim scholars, uh, view that the word purifies, the zakah, in this verse, refers to giving sadaqatul fitr. And in addition to that, the obligation of giving zakatul fitr uh, is to be understood from the general meaning of the divine command and give zakah. In Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, verse number 43. So there are many ahadith that this, this became obligatory uh, uh, from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, there are many ahadith uh, where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, stated the obligation of zakat al-fitr. So there is a hadith related in Sahihain, in both Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim, and in many other books of hadith, that uh, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam enjoined zakat al-fitr to be paid with one sa' of dates or one sa' of bar barley, on every Muslim, free or slave, male or female, young or old. So this hadith uh, uh, makes it compulsory that Allah's Messenger enjoin zakat al-fitr to be paid uh, by every Muslim, male, female, free, a slave or young or old. In addition, many Muslim scholars have confirmed the unanimous agreement on the obligation of zakat al-fitr. As for the wisdom behind uh, the obligation of zakat al-fitr, it purifies the Muslim who has performed fasting from any traces of ill speech and obscenity. So the first benefit or first purpose of zakat al-fitr is that it purifies the fast from any deficiencies. Uh, so the person who fasts, uh, they might commit some deficiencies like any, any, any um, uh, form of neglect or any form of deficiencies to the fasting for ill speech or, 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 or any lying or any obscenity, uh, the zakat al-fitr serves as the purifier for the fast. <clears throat> it also provides one another uh, benefit of this uh, zakat al-fitr is that it also uh, provides sustenance for the poor and the needy. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
uh, the, the intention behind this, the aim, uh, the objective behind Zakat al-Fitr is that the poor and the needy should enjoy the Eid as well. So it provides sustenance for the poor and the needy to enjoy the Eid festival as well. And it also, uh, another purpose of Zakat al-Fitr is that it acts as an expression of gratitude, shukr. It acts as an expression of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable the Muslim to complete the fast of Ramadan. So it's a form of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable uh, us to, to complete the month of Ramadan. So Zakat al-Fitr is obligatory upon every Muslim, male and female, old and young, slave or free, according to the above mentioned, to the, 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 the hadith that we mentioned before, on the authority of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, that Allah's Messenger enjoins Zakat al-Fitr to be paid on every Muslim, free or slave, male or female, young or old. <clears throat> so, this narration demonstrates that the quantity of zakah is to be one sar. And one sar is equivalent to three kilograms. So, uh, one sar of dates, uh, or, or, or wheat, or barley, or, or raisins, or cheese, or whatever is considered the ordinary and the staple food of the people of the area, such as rice, or a spaghetti, or um, corn, uh, which may differ from one people, one region to the next. So it's one sack of the staple food of the people uh, in that region. So, um, concerning the timing of, the, of paying the zakat al fitr, when should it be paid? But the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered the people to give it before going to the Eid prayer, and it is more desirable to be given within the time extending between uh, the sunset of uh, the, the Eid uh, and, and the feast prayer and the Eid prayer. So as soon as it is known that uh, the Eid is like tomorrow, then it should be given uh, from the sunset uh, when it is known that it's the Eid at, uh, all the way to the Eid prayer. And there is also um, Another narration state that it is uh, highly desirable to give it from from Fajr, uh, from the from from Fajr of the day of Eid to the Eid prayer. So, and it is also, um, however, it is permissible to give zakat al fitr one or two days uh, before the Eid prayer. So it's also. Uh, permissible to give the zakat al fitr one or two days before the Eid prayer. And it is also uh, recommended that uh, you can give uh, uh, the zakat al fitr uh, in advance. Uh, let's say um, you have to give it to an organization or a Muslim um, organization or the masjid. And in order for them to facilitate buying of the product and preparing the um, uh, buying of this uh, material, this uh, 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 food for the poor, so it's better to give early so that they could um, be proactive and they could able to to prepare the food supplies for the for, for the poor and the needy. So it is permissible to give it the day or uh, one day or uh, or two days before the Eid prayer. Uh, Imam al-Bakhari rahimahullah has related on the authority of Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma that the companions of the Prophet radiallahu anhum used to give zakat al-fitr one or two days before the Eid prayer. 
which indicates that the companions radiallahu anhum have unanimously agreed upon this that uh, it's uh, it's okay to give it uh, one or two days before the Eid prayer. Yet, the most desirable time to give zakat al-fitr is on the day of Eid itself, uh, before the Eid prayer. Before the Eid prayer. However, if the Eid prayer is performed before uh, one gives zakat al-fitr, one is still required to make up for it after the, the, the Eid prayer. So if uh, someone gives, uh, 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 basically, if someone gives after the Eid prayer, then it would not be considered as zakat al-fitr. It will be considered as a regular charity. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, narrated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, that if anyone pays it, the zakat al-fitr, before uh, the Eid prayer, it will be accepted as zakat, zakat al-fitr. And if anyone pays it after the Eid prayer, it will be considered a charity like other charities. So the Muslims who postpone giving zakat al-fitr has committed a sin for violating the Prophet's order. So the intention behind giving the zakat al-fitr before the Eid prayer is that it can reach the poor and the needy and they could able to, to prepare for the Eid festival. So a Muslim is to give zakat al-fitr on behalf of himself as well as on behalf of every member of his family uh, that he is supporting, including his wives and his relatives uh, that he supports. So this is what can be understood from the general meaning of the hadith in which the Prophet Wasallam said, give zakat al-fitr on behalf of whomever you support. So whoever is under your care, then it is obligatory upon you to give the zakat al-fitr on their behalf. It is even desirable to give zakat al-fitr on behalf of the newborn, or of, the, or of the fetus uh, that's in the womb of the mother not yet born. As this was done by Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu an. So it is desirable to do that, to give the zakat al-fitr the, for the unborn as well. <clears throat> now what are the types of food to be given as zakat al-fitr? So ibn Qayyim rahimahullah, after referring to the five types of food included in the hadith of ibn Umar, uh, namely wheat, barley, dates, raisins, and cheese, uh, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah, he said that these five types of foods used to be the staple food of Medina. So the staple food of Medina, meaning that this was the, the, the food that the, 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 the people of Medina used to eat on a regular basis. So people living in a village or city where the staple food differs from, from uh, the food of Medina, they are to pay one sa, equivalent to three kilograms of their staple, of their own staple food for zakat al fitr. So if their staple food is something other than grain, such as milk, meat or fish, uh, they are to give zakat al-fitr uh, thereof, uh, whatever it may be. So this is the opinion of the majority of the scholars, which is regarded as the correct one in this regard. And there should be no other contrary opinions to be followed. Uh, this is because zakat al-fitr is legally ordained to support the needy on the day of Eid, the Eid festival. So it should be given 
uh, as the staple food, as the regular food that the people of that area, that that region, they, they, they usually consume. So it should be given from that food. For example, rice or pasta or uh, regular food that the people uh, normally eat, that's what it should be given. So it is sufficient for the Muslim to give the needy uh, flour as a cattle fitter, though it is not one of the five types of food mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam in this regard. So though bread and cooked food can be useful for the needy and cost them little to prepare for, for meals, grains are likely to be more useful to the needy since grains can last for a longer time. So this was the, um, uh, the opinion of um, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah that uh, although the Prophet wasallam specified five types of food, uh, it should uh, be known that the staple food of the region, that's what uh, they, it should be given to the people because it is to benefit the poor and the needy uh, for them to enjoy their Eid festival as well. Uh, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he also said that a Muslim is to give zakat al-fitr from the staple food of his area, such as rice, and the like, even if he is able to give it from the kinds of, of food stated in the in the hadith. So this opinion is reported to be one of the op opinions adopted by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, and it is the opinion adopted by the majority of the scholars, and it is uh, the soundest view in this regard. So this is because the original juris, juristic ruling of giving charities is to support the poor. So this is the most uh, authentic view that although five foods were mentioned in the hadith, uh, it, is, uh, it is better uh, to give the staple food of the region, the regular food that the, uh, that, uh, the people are used to in that area, that's what should be given. And it is not sufficient for a Muslim to give money that equals the value of the legally prescribed amount of staple food. As zakat al-fitr for this is considered contradictory uh, to the sunnah. So basically it is not recommended to give to the poor uh, a money uh, uh, instead of the food, because this is not what was stipulated in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam. However, it is uh, recommended to give uh, to an organization or to the masjid, uh, the money, the required amount is stipulated as $10 per person. So it is uh, recommended to give to the masjid uh, or to an Islamic organization, the money, and that organization will buy the food for the poor and the needy. So you don't have to go out and buy the, 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 the physical food for the poor and the needy. You could give your, the, the, your, your, your masjid, uh, the, 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 the equivalent of $10 US dollars, and they will buy and, and distribute the food to the poor and the needy. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullah, he said, a Muslim is not to pay the poor money instead of the prescribed amount of the staple food for zakat al-fitr. And it was said to him that Umar ibn Abdul Aziz uh, rahimahullah used to accept money for zakat al-fitr and he, Imam Ahmad rahimahullah, he replied, how could they adhere to the sayings of so and so and ignore the hadith of the Prophet wasallam stated in this regard? That Ibn Umar, the hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu anhumah, that Allah's Messenger enjoined zakat al-fitr to be paid with one sack of, of, of the dates and the barley and the wheat and the, uh, the five food that's mentioned. So, uh, this uh, drives the point that zakat al-fitr, uh, the forced preference should be 
to give the the the, the, the food uh, uh the, the staple food of the poor however as we mentioned before that it's okay to give to an organization or to the masjid the money and 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 the masjid will 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 provide the food for the poor and the needy so when should this zakatul fitr be given so zakatul fitr must be given at its due time to the due recipient entitled to receive uh, this so it should it must be given before the eid prayer as we emphasize that it must be given before the eid prayer so it must be given to the poor and the needy and um uh, there, there are some um, opinion that it should be given to the recipients of zakah, but there is no proof con uh, regarding that. Uh, the, the, the hadith stipulates that the, it should be given to the poor and the needy. So if the giver finds uh, neither the recipient for, for, uh, for this, and then uh, he can give it to the, for example, if someone is in a region where he can't find the poor and the needy, he should send it uh, to uh, to another country that have uh, poor and needy people there that he knows about. Or it's better to, that you give to your local masjid and you give it to your um, uh, Islamic organization that collects the money and could uh, distribute it to the poor and the needy. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us uh, to understand our obligations to him and help us to uh, stay away from the prohibitions. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to understand our religion and help us to, um, uh, to take care of our poor and our needy in our communities. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Ramadan and our fasting. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us so that we can able to uh, to catch Laylatul Qadr uh, during these uh, important uh, 10 nights. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us so that uh, and accept all our uh, fasting and all our charity and all our zakat and all our zakatul fitr. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li walakum. ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته